Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So this week I'm going to talk to you guys about the transition from the top of the backswing into the downswing and what the sequence is and what feels you're going to need to start to apply. I get a lot of questions um, asking if, I, if you should start the downswing with rotation, if you should start um, bumping your hip to the left first, or if you should feel like you're stepping into your lead foot. So I'm going to answer all these questions to give you guys more clarity. And if you are interested in perhaps doing some online lessons with me, then you can visit my website, uh, jkmgolfacademy.com, um, where there's all the details there. And you can also add me on Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss. You can also send me a message there. All the links are in the description box below. So what is transition? Well, transition is basically when you get to the top of the backswing, it's the moment at which you start to change direction um, after you've made the backswing and you get closer into impact. So all the movements that you're making from the top of the backswing and coming down into impact, all of those things is considered uh, what you do in transition. Now, I get a lot of questions um, regarding what starts first. And the general answer is basically weight shift. Now, uh, when I say weight shift, I'm not saying you have to just push your hip left. Okay, but um, the general answer is to make sure that the entire structure moves more into the target. And you'll see a lot of good players um, initiate it that way before they start to add rotation um, and tilts into their downswing. So when you look at these pros on the screen, I want you to focus on that line I've drawn against um, the edge of the trail leg. And you'll notice that when they make their backswing, you'll see that the weight or the lateral movement happens quite early. And actually, even before they, they might fully complete their backswing, okay? So as they continue down into the downswing, you'll see that after they've shifted their weight, that's when there's, there's rotation followed by tilts. And the body is going to tilt to the trail side only because there still has to be, um, the, your, your lower body still has to lead ahead of your upper body slightly. And if your lower body does lead ahead of your upper body, then that's going to cause your body to kind of bend to the trail side. So the weight shift, rotation, and tilts happen quite quickly in transition, but in, in my opinion, what most people lack is the correct amount of rotation or understanding of when it happens and the position of their body or where their body needs to be. And ensuring that you're transitioning correctly is quite important because it can actually affect um, the quality of your strike, where you're striking the ground potentially, and overall power. So one very crucial point that not a lot of people realize is that when you are making your transition into the downswing with the weight shift and, and, and body movement into the lead side, you have to ensure that your lead shoulder and your lead knee are positioned slightly further ahead relative to where they started at address. So what I mean by that is if you, as I'm setting up here, if you just draw a circle around my lead shoulder and my lead knee, when I make the backswing and when I transition down, you'll see that by the time I get kind of at P6 or shaft parallel, I'll have my lead shoulder and my lead knee further ahead um, relative to where they started um, at address. So that's what I mean by that. Now, obviously you don't have to make sure it's like way in front, but it does have to be a little bit further in front um, than where it started. Okay, so the, the pattern that I, I see with a lot of my guys or a lot of amateurs is when they make the transition, they either bump the hip first and leave the upper body behind. So if you draw those circles in or leave those circles in, when I come down and push my hip, you can see that maybe my lead knee goes ahead, but you'll see that my lead shoulder kind of moves up and, and back, even, maybe even behind the circle um, where my shoulder started at address. So when that happens, you're going to start to have low point issues because your, your, your longest point will tend to be or will tend to form behind the golf ball. Or what I see is that both the lead knee and the lead shoulder actually both move further behind uh, where they started at address. That's going to cause you all sorts of issues, um, especially low point and swing path. You're going to tend to want to swing the club more over and across. So that's something that's really, really visually important for you guys to look for uh, when you're working on weight shift and lateral movement in transition. Now, if you watch those same pros on the screen, you'll see that but when they make their downswing or get the, the shaft back down close to parallel to the ground, um, if I had those circles on them, um, and the lead shoulder and the lead knee, you'll, you'll notice that both of these players uh, will have their lead shoulder and lead, lead knee kind of getting ahead of where it started at some point in the downswing. So that's a really important indicator to know that you've 
shifted your body and your weight enough into the lead side. So just remember that the sequence will be weight shift and body movement into the lead side followed by rotation and tilts. And these three things happen quite quickly, but it should feel pretty flowy and, and not so mechanical, okay? So you, you, you want to make sure that when you do the transition, everything should feel as though you're constantly in motion, kind of going more into the target um, as you're kind of adding the turns and the tilts. So a really great drill that I get a lot of my players to do to get a feel of all those three movements happening in transition is to place your hands on your thighs. And when you go into the backswing, you're just going to raise your right hand up your thigh. Your lead hand's going to move down your thigh. Okay, and that's going to help you feel out um, the correct amount of tilts. Okay, so when you make your backswing, you want to feel that weight shift or body movement into the lead side before you kind of turn in the opposite direction. Okay, so it should feel really flowy. Okay, you'll notice that when I'm doing this, I'm really putting emphasis on feeling the transition first. So backswing, weight shift, backswing, weight shift, backswing, weight shift, and then kind of turning into the opposite side. So when I do turn into the opposite side, my hands will kind of move in the opposite direction as well. So my trill hand will move down my thigh, my lead hand will move up my thigh. Okay. So you want to fix, make sure that it feels quite flowy. So you don't want to feel mechanical like this. It should feel all one motion. Kind of feel like it constantly moves more into the lead side okay so you can replay this over and over if you want but um i think this is a good exercise just to give you guys more awareness all right thank you guys so much for watching now if you have any additional questions you can leave a comment down below if you do have some extra time i would encourage you guys to watch this video next and this is a video i made in the past just talking about footwork and weight distribution so watching this video can actually further enhance your understanding of transition.